Hi, welcome to my seventh Hammer tutorial. I've been playing a lot of Deathrin maps lately, and I've made a couple so far as Deathrin Recon, Cartoons, Pirate Ships, and Airships. So, I figured I'd make a tutorial. All I have so far is a simple little area. We have an area for the runners and an area for the trap starters. So we're going to start with the simple trap, which is just a pusher. So, select a material. I'm just using metal. And make out of world brush where you want your pusher to be. So now we have our world brush. And now you select it and press control T to make it an entity. You want to make it a funk. Move linearly. Okay. Now you want to name it. It doesn't matter what you name it. Just name it something. I name mine trap one underscore pusher. And now your speed doesn't really matter. I'm making mine 150. We need to find how thick our path is so we know how far to make the pusher go. It's mine is 106 segments. So for the move distance, just go with 130 to be safe. And now we also need to set our direction. Now, right now, walking down the path, you'd be going zero. So I line up that line with my 3D view, and then I direct it from there. So 90. And you want blocking damage to be at least 200. So that way, if a player finds a way to glitch it, your whole map doesn't get screwed because of the first trap. Now, you need to make a button really quick. Just make it out of a brush really quick. It doesn't really matter. Now select it and press Control T and now make it a funk button. And now name this something. Trap one button is what I'm naming mine. Now under flags, if you don't want it to move, make it don't move. I'm not having mine move. And use activates means they have to press E to get it to move. And now for our I.O. I.O.s, inputs and outputs. The whole thing about this is that this is what they are named in game and this is short term. On action, what you do, targeting, what it's going to target, what you want it to do, the override, and the delay. This is the full I.O. for that pusher trap. Go ahead and pause the video so you can get all this down and then put it in your map. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do this really quick. Alright, now for the colors, you want to use the override here. They're RGB codes, so it's 255, that's full red, 0, and 0 means there's no green or blue. And then, copy and paste. And then 255, 255, 255, that means it's full colors, it'll look like normal then. Alright, now for our second trap. It's just going to be a breaking path. So... We get our clipping tool out, and we clip out where we want to break. There we go. We have where we want to break. Select it and press Control T. Make it a funk breakable. I Name it what you want again. I'm naming mine Trap 2 Break. Now, under your flags, click Only Break on Trigger. Unless you want it so play one player's knife it, it'll break. In that case, go ahead. It's your map. And make sure you set the material type to whatever the material looks like. Otherwise, it just kind of looks stupid. So, mine's metal, so metal. I'm going to copy over my button here. So I don't have to make a whole new one. I'll rename it. I'll get rid of the old inputs and outputs. Here is the I.O. for that second trap. Go ahead, pause the video if you need to. But otherwise, try to keep up. All right, add on pressed, break, add on pressed, lock, color 25500. And since we're not having the platform come back, we don't want it to unlock itself, so they c it can never be pressed again. It's a one-time triggering trap. 
Then I'm going to copy my button again for our third trap. Our third and final trap that we're going to do. Which is going to be some explosions. And now you want to create an entity there. And name it in Envy Explosion. Simple. Then name it. Name it on trap 3. Explode. And the cool thing about this is if you have more than one entity named the same thing and you trigger it, it will do it for both those entities. So now, here is the I.O. for that final and third trap. Right here. Need to pause the video, go ahead. Add. Unpressed. Explode. Now, I want it to have it explode more than once. So this is where the delay comes in. I'm going to have it explode three times. It, once, as soon as you push it, and then 0 .10, se 0 .10 seconds after that, and then 0.20 seconds after you initially push it. So it'll go boom, boom, boom. And now, we lock the button. We color the button. Unlock the button after 25 seconds. And recolor the button back to normal after 25 seconds. So people know it can be triggered again. Okay, and now one last thing. People have been asking me how to make one-way windows. So, the counter-terrorists can't see the terrorists. So, grab a no-draw material. And make the wall where you would normally have it or want it to be. And then go to your face edit sheet. Browse for material that you want the terrorist or counter terrorist to see when they're running. And then apply it with right click. You just right click on it and it'll take that material and put it on the side. And now you want a material that they can see through. So glass. I like the combine glass the best. I think it looks cool. Or if you just don't want them to see anything at all, you could use invisible or player clip. And that's it. I'll see you in Counter-Strike. Okay, and a real common mistake that I made, that I now know, is on the button for Funk Move Linear, it's very easy to mix up open and close. So if it doesn't open when you want, or push when you want, just reverse the open and close of it. So it'll open when, it, when you had close, and it'll close when you had open. And then that should fix all your problems. Okay, now we have our map. We have our pusher, our breaking floor, and the explosions. But you really don't know those two are there. You know that one's there. Alright, so you can see through. On this side only, you press E. There you go. Just remember, sometimes you get them mixed up. Even I do. Our breaking floor. And our explosions. See, it's not as hard as everyone makes it out to be. And then, that will color itself back after 25 seconds after being pushed.